So far, we've learned about uh, about how to make uh, basic structs, your uh, unit structs, uh, tuple structs, and name structs. And uh, we uh, so we came up with this uh, this color one, and then we made a size and color struct, and we put color inside it. And uh, one other thing you might have noticed is that uh, you know you have a comma here, and uh, you know there's no comma here. You can actually uh, put these uh, these trailing trailing comma uh, you can put them in if you want it's up to you uh, some people like this uh, this practice because if you uh, you know let's say you don't have a, a comma here and later on you uh, you change the order around and then you forget to uh, to put the comma in then uh, then it'll it'll make an error but it's not you know it's not a, a big deal you can uh, you can take the comma out and it doesn't matter so it is entirely up to you uh, now let's uh, let's try to uh, to print this struct out. So it's uh, let's see, size and color is the name of the variable, and we're going to print it. And this will be an interesting message. So there we go. Usually, you know, up to now, we've tried to uh, to print with display, and if it doesn't work, we've tried debug, but. Uh, our struct doesn't uh, doesn't have this yet, so it says uh, the trait debug is not implemented for size and color. And you remember, if you go to the uh, the documentation for uh, for existing types, you can see the trait implementation. So this is like the the powers that it can use. You know, it can clone. It can it can uh, dis well not display. It can uh, compare for equality and so on. And there is debug. And so you have to uh, to give it this power, and thankfully, the uh, the compiler is saying uh, note add this thing here derive debug or manually implement debug. Uh, this is much easier. Uh, let's so let's uh, try that. And uh, this uh, this derive is kind of like a a quick way to give your uh, your structs these uh, this functionality. Uh, so let's uh, let's just do what it says and it goes right before the struct on the line before and you don't need a semicolon so let's see if that works it's actually by the way it's not going to work let's try running it again hmm. I think the playground is being slow today I wonder if I can trick it. Ah, there we go. So it says uh, color cannot be formatted using this. And that's because we have color inside here and color does not have a uh, debug. So we're going to have to give uh, the same thing to color. So now this one can debug print and this one can debug print. And now we finally get to see we have printed out our lovely struct, and it's uh, so it's a size and color type. It uh, has size of this, and it has color of color with these three values inside it. So that is the way that works. Uh, now let's. Uh, I want to show you one more. Uh, you know, structs take. Uh, sometimes they take a while to uh, to get used to, and so I want to show. Uh, some more examples and you'll get uh, you'll start to really like them I think so we'll we'll create a country and the population is u32 because you cannot have a negative population the capital is going to be a string and the uh, leader name is going to be a string and uh, so let's uh, let's create let's make a population variable and then a, uh, a capital variable. And this one is going to be a string from, and this country's capital is uh, Elista. And that is a country called uh, Kalmykia. And then uh, leader name, I th think he's still the leader. Uh, from, and Batu Hasikov. So Batu Hasikov. 
Let's see if he's still leader. Back to Hasik off. Do, 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 do. Yep, he's still the uh, the president of Kalmykia. So there we go. <clears throat> so we have these three uh, three variables, and now we can finally create Kalmykia. And we will say uh, population population, and then the capital is going to be capital and leader name and leader name and you're probably seeing the point I'm trying to make here which is that we wrote population population capital capital leader name leader name so they, they all have the same name and we typed it uh, you know we typed it twice every time and uh, rust will let you uh, oh I forgot to write uh, country there we go. So Rust will let you uh, abbreviate this. So this this will work fine, of course. We we created our our country of uh, Kalmykia, and it's got uh, you know all the stuff we wanted to put in. But if you have the same variable name as the uh, as the uh, <clears throat> this portion of your struct, then uh, you can uh, delete that. So there you go. And now all we have to write is population, capital, leader name, and uh, and Rust will figure it out. So let's uh, let's print it out and see what we can do. Kalmykia, um, and we want to give it some uh, give it debug. Derive debug and give it debug print <clears throat> and there we go we have our country called Kalmykia